Hey, Plant Pals, Mike the Caddy Gardener, and today's video is an update on the Dazzling Blue Kale that I'm growing in the Zimhu unit. It's been well under a month, and you can see all of the wonderful growth. That This was the seeds I was gifted from T-Nog, the New Orleans Gardener, and as you can see, I'm trying to get down here closer because I want everyone to see the beautiful purple stem and the purple underside, the ribbing on the leaves. It's a gorgeous plant. And as a matter of fact, it's been growing so fast that it keeps touching the light. And I keep I move this I've been moving this light up nearly every day. It keeps touching light and kind of burning itself because it it'll go right up against the uh, the light here and those little LEDs will actually burn spots. Let's see if I can show it. It'll burn spots on the top of the top of the leaf. So I have to keep you know keep an eye on it and make sure I move it up. And I've already tasted a few leaves, and it's a very delicious, tasty kale. So that's really awesome. It was a wonderful uh, gift, and I'm very excited to uh, grow it. Now, as you can see, as I've said before, you don't want to overcrowd these things. Because see, look at how this guy has really taken, well, like this one has really taken off. And this one has especially really taken off. And it's kind of shading these little guys here. So what I'll do is I'll pull them out. I'll pull out probably uh, only four in this unit for now. And if they get even bigger, I'll just bring it down to two and just put them in opposite corners. And they'll be happy. But the rest of them won't go to waste. I will put them in different units. All right. And a quick tip is I have them sitting on this shelf, shelving unit. It was just a really inexpensive uh, shelving unit. It has these screw-on plastic legs. So I bought another unit, and I'm using the legs to use as supports. I just screw them on. And there was like a little cap. There was a cap that was here. And I removed the cap and I just screwed the uh, extra leg on. So that I can put the. It's not a foil, it's mylar. It's for like when you are, you know, you see at the end of a, a marathon and they put around the runners to keep their body temperature regulated. It's very inexpensive. I got like a. I got a two pack for less than five dollars on Amazon. You can get them everywhere, and they reflect the light back, and they keep the heat in for the plant. And the plants really love it. So it's just a really quick, simple tip to make your own indoor kind of grow tent without having to make a grow tent. And the reason why I did that is this is my man cave, and I watch television. And as you can see, there's no reflection. This is a very bright light. There's no reflection back into my TV, which would be very distracting and not fun for gaming or watching movies. And what I also did was to uh, kind of make it match and also fit because it was, the see, the mylar is so reflective that it was reflecting the TV back onto the TV. So I put just some, uh, I cut up a trash bag so it's black and so it won't reflect back onto the TV. I think it looks kind of nice. It looks pretty sharp. So I can zoom out a little bit. I like it. And if you really were a person who didn't like the light from a unit, you could put like a little string going across and some, you know, more mylar or whatever that you could like open and close like a curtain. So when you want to work on the plant, you can have it open and then you want to close it and the light will just bounce back onto the plant. 360 degrees, which it's not necessary, but like I said, it definitely doesn't hurt and I think the plants like it and I, and I like the uh, look of it and like I said it's very functional it keeps the uh, light off of my TV all right so that's just a look at my little babies here and then, like I said you can see the beautiful purple veining it's called dazzling blue kale but it has a kind of a neon purple veining to it and I'm really loving this plant and so I will save as many of these babies as I can, put them in different units, and hopefully they'll, th they'll 
flourish. <laughs> and uh, yeah, all right. That's just a update to my winter indoor grow 2022 dazzling blue kale. All right. Any comments, questions in the comment section? Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.